Right, hello. Welcome to Fox Galactica. There's somebody sitting in the floor. So we're back with Star Citizen. Um, got some two missions I've accepted. The first one is Defend Occupant, so it's a bunker mission. Uh, very quickly, I'm going to be using a slightly different ship. Well, I'm aiming to today. This is the Aegis Gladius. As you can see, it's much more like a fighter jet. So I'm not planning on doing any cargo missions today. And one of the missions is going to involve a little bit of dogfighting with other ships. So I need something quite nimble. And the Gladius is very nimble. So we just power up everything here. Very nice. We want to go to data center. Oh, we're on Microtech. We want to stay on Microtech and go to the data center. So the first one is a bunker mission. Now bunker missions are basically fly to a base, shoot bad guys, don't shoot good guys. Very, very simple. The, uh, the, the mission types are either going to be protect site or defend occupants. And the star map, are you going to work? No, star map is not going to work. Let's go in a different way. This hasn't got as big like a petrol tank as the Cutlass Black. As you can see in the top left corner, it's only got 583.33 whatever units it is for um, quantum fuel. There we go, that's better. This is going to use very little of that. So these nice short jumps as well favour this Gladius short range light fighter. Now, boarding detected, boarding detected, uh, boarding detected, boarding action in progress, that is, something I want to do, I've, I really, 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 really want to do this mission, I haven't, I've, I've tried about five times, and what it is, as you can see on the screen, you've got it's a luxury liner, basically has been intercepted and it's got outlaws on board and you need to fly there, board the ship, kill the outlaws. So it's a bit like a bunker mission, but you're in space. But the real problem with it is, for me at least, is it's usually, there's usually three pirate ships or thereabouts just patrolling the site. So you've got to fly in, dispatch them first, then get inside the ship and then take out whoever's inside the ship so previously I've never been able to get past the ships on the outside right the speed let's see how much faster this is than the um, the gladi uh, the uh, cutlass black it's got an incredible top speed it's very very nimble very agile but the trouble is the faster you go as soon as you start to move you you're in danger of g-lock now between those two central displays, on just above the right-hand side one, you'll notice a little G meter it tells you what your current G force is. Isn't it a lovely little ship? I was looking at this one, or the arrow, I think it is, and this one just has slightly better shields. So for someone like me who gets shot a lot, I need better shields. Uh, it's making mincemeat of getting out of the atmosphere, so now we'll just find our target. It's just a quick jump around the planet. And we'll get this bunker mission done first. So what can go wrong with the bunker mission? Well, um, the things that can go wrong game-wise, the lifts might be broken, uh, or there might be no enemies there. I've had both of those happen to me, and they're both extremely annoying. What else could go wrong? Uh, if I shoot uh, security, 
then I'll get a crime stat, which is like a star, a wanted star in, in uh, Grand Theft Auto. And then if I get too many of those, I'll, I have to go to prison. Prison is quite fun, actually. I've been in it once, and uh, I've got it sussed. So I might, I might go, at some point in the future, I might intentionally go to prison, and then do a video of how to get out of prison, and what you can do when you're in prison. It's pretty cool. But anyway, 20 kilometers away from the data center. So we're gonna get here as quick as we can, get a landing in, and then hopefully the lifts work, and hopefully there are baddies inside. Now the security on Microtech wear white armor. They are really distinctive. When I, I, I went to prison, I was, um, it was my mission, Hurston or somewhere, and the security guards wore a very difficult to distinguish armour from the baddies. The baddies wore purple, and like a very dark purple, and the security that I shot had very dark blue on, so it was, or similar, so it was, I thought I was shooting a baddie, and I ended up killing a few security guards, and then went to prison, because the base, the turrets on the outside of the base instantly blew my ship up. So, I committed suicide and then went to um, went to woke up in prison and had to work out what to do there. But we got it done. Anyway, here we are. Let's get the Gladius down. No other ships here. got hostiles remaining 10 out of 10 at the top if that starts to drop then we know that there are definitely hostiles on the site now there's the front just want to park a little distance away so I can give myself a bit of a head start when it comes time to go so luckily this is a really fast ship so we can get out of the blocks before in case, I should say, the turrets start to fire at us. Just set her down gently. Come on, back a bit. There we go. Easy does it. Engines off. Oh, I've left my headlights on. Luckily, the car battery is quite strong, so we're not going to get, we're not going to need anybody to give us a jump start. Right then, in we go. It's a balmy minus nine, is that degrees? There's the turret, so there's one there. No, we should be okay. The only, the only downside to me is I'm staring at the side of a mountain, so. I'm going to have to get the nose up and get the thrust on quickly. So, step two then. Is the lift going to work? Looks like it. It's not flickering. Good. Okay, lift is working. Bonus. Now, we've got to hope that we actually have people to shoot. Oh, and then of course, oh, I can see we've got security on site. Little blue triangles appeared. There's quite a few blue triangles. Oh, and somebody's been shot. Brilliant. So we should have baddies. Let's just have a mooch around then. The baddies are going to be in white armour. And the, uh, sorry, the goodies are in white armour and the baddies, again, are sort of a purpley outfit. Let's just have a look and see if we can see any movement. There's a guy. That's a baddie. Because he hasn't got a blue thing over him. Oh, there goes a, a goodie. He's going to shoot at someone, maybe. Nobody around. Let's just sneak our way about a bit. And see what the lay of the land is. No, that baddie's gone somewhere. But that, those guys in white, they're really easy to spot. So, 
anybody who doesn't look like that, we need to shoot, basically. They are shooting at something. Let's just move around a bit. Not the guy there. Let's just move around a bit. Make sure nobody's drifting back into sight. Another goodie. Look around the corners. Some baddies have a tendency to hide there. Is that a baddie? Looks like it. Let's get a bit closer. Yes, you'll do. Thanks very much. My first one. So we're down to seven. No, he's alright. Don't kill him. Baddie, I'll have you. Thank you. A few more bullets there than I needed. So these guys wear purple, you can see there, sort of a blue and a purple. After we've killed all these guys, I can do a little bit of looting and see if there's any good weapons to take. I need to make sure I've definitely got bullets for when we get to... Oh, another guy, he's a baddie, we'll have him. Thank you, another one down. Anyone on the platform? No, let's mooch around a bit. Okay, we can still hear gunfire, so that's okay. There's another baddie. That's it, you jump around, you've got no armour anyway. Bang, have you? How many left? Three left. Again, check around the corners. Some of those guys without armour have a tendency to hide behind pillars and stuff. Oh, it looks like a security guard's been downed. So there's a guy over there, he is. Have you? Oh, he's moved. Okay. Another one down. That's good. We'll have a look in here. See if there's anyone else. Usually there's some crates to loot in here. I have to just... Oh, there's a guy. Popped up on the left. Pop down again. There he is. He's up. Let's get down so he can't get a clear shot. Good. So we're down to one remaining. Just check the server room. Isn't usually anyone in here, but. While I'm here, good to check it, get it out of the way, see if there's any loot crates. At the moment there isn't. Okay. So one left. This is where it gets really tense. So I do like to move about. No movement in my sights. Oh, is that one? Could be. Stand up. Bingo. Hey! Bunker mission complete. Good, 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 good. Right, let's just have a look at that. Uh, I don't really, really want any of those. Got anything in your armour? Are they magazines for certain guns? Okay, I've got those. Have you got anything in your armor at all? Let's have a look. Every time you oh, there we go. See, every time you loot somebody, always open their chest armor. He's got some ammo, but I'll take that medi pen. Another medipen. We'll take all the medipens. And his bullets. Might nick his gun. At some point. Or nick one of their guns. 
ammo is always good. He's no good. No loot crates there. Now I'm looking for... Now you can get first aid crates. They're really easy at the spot. But I'm looking for red ammo crates. Or weapon crates. They, they, have, they can have armour. They can have guns in them. So here's a first aid... Uh, first aid crate. So I'll have a look in there. Hopefully there'll be some pens. Oh, there we go. Medical guns. We'll have those. We'll take the other stuff. If I get killed um, before I get to board the stricken liner, then all this stuff is completely irrelevant. It's all going to have gone. Blue? Is blue anything? No, nope, blue's not anything. Need to find a red. There's another first aid one. Don't want that. Let's put my gun away. So I don't accidentally shoot any of the security guards who are going to be coming in soon. No, nope, that's a bag. Nothing around here. This is a bit sparse. So soon we're going to see more security guards show up. And the last thing you want is to... Oh, there we go. last thing you want is to accidentally shoot one of them. So what's in here? Don't just be armour. Oh, some guns. What's that? Okay, yeah. Hmm. That's quite cool. Right, let's get back to the ship. It's getting a bit brighter. And the headlights are still on, so we haven't drained the car battery, which is handy. But let's get back in here, and we need to hot foot it out, just in case the turrets decide that we're a threat. And then we need to go and find this stricken liner 
and see what is flying around it. Right, engine's on. And off we go. Go, 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 get out of here. And once we get to a decent height, we can get the map up. And have a look at where that liner is. Oh, it was a very nice, successful bunker mission anyway. We um, did all right there. So let's have a look. And we made sure we selected call to arms as well. That means every bad guy we shoot, we get an extra 500 credits for. So where is the distress beacon? Let's find that. Okay, I can kind of see it. There we go. Star map's working. Okay, we've got to go to orbital marker first and then to the distress beacon. Orbital markers. Quick word about orbital markers. Um, they have the title OM, the number normally between 1 and 6. Let's clear the atmosphere and then we can go to orbital marker 3. But orbital marker 1, I've learned, is normally like the North Pole of a planet and orbital marker 2 is usually at the South Pole. Why can't I... Oh, I've got to go to the marker. No, there's, what I do like about this is that look at my radar. It's showing me the direction where I need to jump. So I can't actually go to that first of all. I need to go to the orbital marker first. So let's find... The, oh, there it is. You can see the green changes. So that's why it's basically a good representation of the star map. Um, very, very elite dangerous radar. Things in front of you and behind you, then up and down in relation to your position. Right, so here we go. How many ships are going to be guarding this liner? I'm hoping it's not too many. I need to just make my way very carefully. My tactics for this are quite straightforward. When I can get one of them to turn red, I'm going to fire off a missile, and then when we start to engage, switch to guns. Then, after we've beaten one, run away for a bit, recharge, and come back and try and repeat that. Oh, here we go, here we go. What have we got? Okay, somebody's scanning me. There's three ships. Okay. Off it goes. Cool. Got it. Got an inbound. We fire off a decoy. And then get out of the way. Is that one on the right? Closer. He does look close, so we might have to disengage that one and go to the one on the right. Oh, yeah. Is it colours black? Oh, it is as well. Oh, Jesus. Out of the way. But the good thing is, these are more nimble than the colours black. Now, I'm on lead reticule targeting which means I've got to aim that little red thing just in front and if I get it in there then let's give them everything I'm taking a little some a few hits but we've got good maneuverability we just need to keep him in front of us 
keep going for that target just in front of him. Got him. I've got one. <laughs> right. Let's re, uh, recharge the shields. Thrust away a bit before we engage the second guy. He's not going to be too slow, but we are very fast. We can keep him in front. Oh, we're going to hit him. Oh, bugger. Oh, well. I'll be back in a second. Let me go and get me other ship. Right. Back again. This time, I'm in a Cutlass Black. So, um, not as manoeuvrable as, as the uh, Gladius. But, hopefully, that, that impact we had with the Gladius, I think that destroyed the Cutlass Black as well he was taking a bit of damage from us so I'm hoping there's only one ship left now and if they're in a cutlass black and we're in a cutlass black I honestly fancy my chances so we're being scanned inbound missile so we'll fire off a decoy or two come on, come on. where is he too far okay Slight different targeting system. Here we go. Missile locks filling up. Let's let him go, boys. Let him ride. He's firing. Let's change to guns. No, let another one go. Can we get another one in? Too close. Too close. Guns. Right. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. So, yes, yeah, so I've got lead targeting which means I have to aim slightly in front of them you can have lag targeting which is where you have an icon which you've then got a position over the ship in order to get hits we have some good hits here come on oh 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 oh, oh we've blown off one of his um we've blown off one of his engines that's good he's gonna have a nightmare trying to manoeuvre. I said, dude, you stay right there. Stay right there. Come on. I need to get shoot inside that reticule. You can't have much left. Got him. Huh. This is unreal. Is that it? This is both of them. Oh, that's my death marker. Well, I got blown up last time. I think that should be it. Now, where's that... Um, Where's that 890 jump cruiser? It's here somewhere. Perhaps if I put my... Um, quantum drive on. It doesn't look like there's anybody else. On the radar. Which means, for the first time ever... I'm going to be able to actually go and board the ship and then try and take everybody out. Oh, there's the jump. Just confirm that's the jump. There's a ship marker there, but that should be for the jump. Distress beacon, good. Good, good, good. Yes, everything appears to be nice. So I need to just very gently pull up alongside this, and then I've got to f I've got to leave my ship, fly through space gracefully. There we go. We'll target it. That will keep it telling me things like distance. So yes, good, 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 good. There are no other ships. This is excellent news. My ship is okay. You can see from the reading out to the left of my radar, top left corner of my screens. My ship is fine. It's got all the bits it should have. Right, I don't know if that's the bottom or the top. 
but I'm going to have to park up next to it, open my rear doors, then fly over to it and go in via an airlock. Now there's an airlock, that sort of blue circle thing right in the middle of my display, so I need to get over to that. Is it upside down or is it right way up? I don't know. It might be upside down. I just need to get over to the airlock so we'll get a bit closer then we'll spin the sh uh, ship around and then we can get in the airlock and then it's basically another bunker mission so we'll spin it round right engines off engines off out the seat and then out the back. Right, hopefully this flying through space bit is fairly straightforward. I've not done an extra vehicular activity. So there we go. Now, where is it? It's over on the right there. Oh, so that's gravity gone. That's my ramp. That's the inside of my ship. Oh, Christ, where am I? Come on. Come on, where is everything? And you get the grips of the control methods. So I'm back on keyboard and mouse, that's better. We're getting there, we're getting there. How do I turn myself? Okay. Q and E to rotate myself. Oh, and that says upside down, mind your step. So we came in upside down, that probably explains why I dropped like I did. We'll open that. There we go, in we go. Nice. Guns out. Reload. Right then. This is exciting. I've been wanting to do this mission for ages. There are 12 of the 15 hostiles left. So I'm just going to creep around a bit. And we'll see where we are. There's a, is that the lift or is that the airlock to the ramp on the underside of the cruiser? Right, there's usually some people dossing around. Oh, is one up there? Is that one up there? No. But there's usually some people knocking about through this stairwell. Let's just have a look through here. Oh, we're on the spa level. Sauna, nice. So this is a, a jump 890, or an 890 jump, that's a lift there, just gone past. Um, it's basically a big luxury cruise liner. Escape pods. I can hear shooting, I can hear voices, and I need to go up these stairs, aren't I, really? Anyone? Anyone? No? Okay, let's have a look through the middle. Oh, yes, there we go. Two down. Oh, we're down to nine out of 15. So we've got security on site, we haven't been killed, that's handy. Any more for any more here? I can still hear them. So, yeah, they're definitely very distinctive looking. You want me on the back? Oh, another one. No, missed him. That was a bit of blood. Is he dead? He's now. Reload. So we're down to eight. There's a side mission here as well. If you find um, something which is transmitting data stuck to one of the terminals, you need to stop it, basically. But I've only got one minute 17. I don't think I'm going to find that. So I'm not really... But we'll have that gun, just as a backup. How many bullets have you got on your gun, dude? Let 
let's have a look through here okay that's a lift right okay we don't need that can we call it no not at the moment Okay, let's get up the other half of the stairs. Is there going to be anybody through the next door? There's already a few dead bodies lying about. Still nobody behind me? No, we're good. What's through here? Is this the bridge? Looks like the bridge. We've got any baddies? Doesn't look like baddies on the bridge. Nope. This pilot sits on the right. Two co pilots at the front. But no baddies up here. So we need to find a lift and get down to some other levels because we still have six left. Six left. Somebody's shooting them as well, which is good. They've been helping us out. But this is a this is a good um, a good monetary reward. Oh hello. It's like a posh viewing area. Now these are doors, I think, on the left. Yes. Okay, it's a cabin search. It's like a conference room or something. No, nobody in here. Let's go through. Bedroom. Nice. Look at that. Very nice. Big TV. It's the bathroom. Tidy. Nobody hiding in there. We've missed the deadline for stopping the data transmission, but that's okay. Find a lift. Pretty happy that everybody around here has been killed. I wonder if the baddies are, hang are hanging out in the hangar. That's a possibility. The two other big zones are the hangar and the engine room. Those are the airlocks out. Is this a lift or is this the one to the outside? Exit ship. That's the. That is the um, access lift that takes you out underneath. So I need to find. Were they behind here? Behind these doors? There's a lift. Okay. Let's call the elevator. Okay, should have been here by now. Because it's only down the bottom of that hole. Don't tell me that the lifts aren't working. That's going to be great. Anybody in the swimming pool? Nope. Oh, so if that lift isn't going to work... You like this one? Perhaps the lifts aren't powered because there are some parts of the ship you can turn power on. So perhaps these are just not powered on. That is annoying. Right, new strategy. I'm going to need to get out. Yes, I know. I'll get. I'll go back outside and find another airlock. So this is a lift. That's not going to open. No. No. 
nothing okay just confirm uh, give me the gun back no nothing oh well that's great these lifts have no power where do I need to go then I came in through here didn't I I need to get to um, let's try and find the power let's see if the, the bridge has got power can we sit in this yes we can Power off. So power is on here. Remote turrets. Okay. Hmm. Right. This is tricky, tricky, tricky. There's no other buttons there, is there? No. Right. Let's get out of the shit of this um the seat. Yeah, the, the more I'm thinking about, it, the more I'm thinking I'm going to have to go out of one airlock. And try and find another airlock. Or, failing that, no, nothing happening there. Failing that, the hangar bay, you can, and this is really last resort, but the hangar bay, you can drop in through the roof. But it's a little bit of a drop, but I don't think it's a fatal drop. It better not be, anyway. Right, let's go at the bottom of the ship. Because this lift works. We saw it come up on the display. So, exit ship. Here we go. Down we go. Let's put the gun away. Oh, that's better. Had me worried for a second. So we're going to be outside the ship, underneath. And then we're going to need to fly our way back so let's find a way back in on a different floor what a challenge this is this is certainly a lot more complicated than I was hoping it would be there's the planet below us microtech how do I go up is it space bar? Same as flying a ship? Yes. Okay. Oh. Okay. Is that... Uh, that's an airlock. Can we get in there? Turn myself round. Okay. Is this a different floor? Oh, we just just went out. Dang! So we came in through that one. The doors open. We need to go back outside. So we've come out the bottom of the ship, gone around to the side. Come back in the door to exactly the same place we were a minute ago. Not a problem. Not a problem. These are escape, sort of, again, more escape things. So we need to go out. Let's let's try and find the hangar. Let's drop in through the hangar. There's my ship. Still there. Good. So it should be. Let's go up. These are the engines, are they? What's that there? Is that a... That doesn't look like a, an airlock. doesn't look big enough. It's a gun turret. Okay. Let's go over the top. We've got some sentries on board. I can see the sentries. That'll be the, the hangar. Oh, this is really weird trying to 
move through space. So that was the big staircase that I did. There's three sentries ahead of us. Right, there's the hangar. We should be able to see through it as well. And if there's any baddies there, we might be able to take them out. But let's have a look. Let's have a little peek over the side. Oh. There's a dead body. Oh, that's security. Okay. So it doesn't look like there's any more bad guys in there. But I'm going to have to drop through that. But I, hope, I don't think that is going to be a fatal drop. So, fingers crossed, we just have to take a leap of faith now. Good. Okay. We're injured. Oh, 70-something, 70, 70 let's go. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to full strength. We'll have that. Jab it in. Lovely. So, that's restored me back to full strength. So hopefully we can get to everybody from this floor. Just have a look around these pillars. That is a dead bad guy. Just check around these pillars. Make sure there's nobody hiding. Can we get through this door? That's another elevator. Nothing doing. Right, okay. Oh, a couple more security guards. I probably should have looked around to see them first. There's a basketball hoop. Right, okay. At least we're in a different part of the ship. So, can we find the switch that turns everything else on? Or at least find... How many have we got left? Six. Six bad guys. Oh, Medibay. So if I got injured, I can actually come back here and get healed on that bed thing. That's pretty cool. There is a school of thought that says you should transfer your regeneration imprint to the med bay here in case you get shot and killed, and then you can wake up on the ship and not have to keep going forwards and backwards. Right, what have we got through here? Another elevator. No thanks. These, nothing really happening with these. Okay, let's get through this door. We can't be far from the engine bay, surely. Engine room. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> I spy. Oh, I spy loads. Right, okay. Let's get this, these three. Three down. Three left. Are they all down here? Let's hope so. There's another one. I'll have you. Thank you. Two left. Let's just reload. Oh, another one. I'll have you. Oh, don't shoot the. Another one. So we're down to one. Please be another one. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, this is tricky. I need to walk up and shoot. Got him! Yay! Excellent. So that's it. All of them didn't do the um, didn't do the data, but fantastic. Oh, that's superb! The first time I've ever managed to get on board forty-five thousand. First time I've ever ever managed to get on board, and we've um, managed to do the sweep. Oh, let me do a dance. I'm going to do a little dance. Uh, emote? What's this exploding stuff? Hopefully it's them. Uh, no dance there. No, page two. There's dance. Can I do a dance? Is it a big dance? No, I finished dancing. Okay, fair enough. Oh, that's too far back with the camera. That's better. Right then. I don't think there's really going to be anything worth looting on these guys. There's the engine. See, they look a bit sort of spindly with 
not much gear so anything inside the chest no okay that's pretty much going to be the average then this one's got a bit more armor but to be honest I'm not really that bothered about looting these guys What we will do though, because it's only right. There we go. Yes. Incredibly childish. My helmet's got horns on it, but. A couple of little red holographic horns. How cool. Right. So, can I. find the power that opens or gets the lifts working so I can't jump up through the hangar to get back into space. And if the lifts aren't going to work and there's no exits on this floor that means I'm going to need to take my own life and then reappear back at a medical bay. Just one last little look No, absolutely nothing. So these guys are going to have nothing on them. Might as well get out of here. We'll try and get out of here. What's the engine? Engine room B. What's through that door? Come on. Let's find a lift that works or a room where I can turn stuff on. Still not working. That's the med bait. Okay, don't need that. Keeping my eye out for other airlocks as security. I've done the job, lads. I've done the job. Don't worry about it. made a noise. No. Let's go to the left of the basketball court. No, that's nothing. Can't do anything with that. Ooh. Can't get through those though. I think it looks like it could take me outside, but I can't get through that. Oh, pool table. Arcade machine. Only two buttons. What a load of rubbish. What's he doing? Not a great deal. Are we getting these? Nope. Can't get in these. I think these are cabins. in here. Kitchen. Okay, more thing. Ah, ah, ha, 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 ha. This is the room I was after. Can we get in that seat? Oh, it's not highlighting. No, let's try the big seat. Can we get in there? Okay. I think this is some sort of uh, escape shuttle. Uh, what have we got? Engines on. Let's put the engines on, see if that makes any difference. Why is this crosshair moving? That is slightly disconcerting. Is there anything else that might power on? We've got the engines on already.
There's certainly a bit of noise about the place now. Let's let's get out and uh, what's the other one? Can we get in this one? Oh, I think so. Yes, we can. Yep, we can get in this one. Is this going to give us any other clues? Let's power off. Exit. Okay, not much happening here. Has that done the job? Has that done the job? Let's go back and find... That's the engine room, isn't it? Where I killed those dudes. Okay, can't do anything with that. Okay, oh, it's got a lift thing, but we won't press that. Through here. Okay. Cool elevator. I've definitely heard something. Oh, power. We have power to elevators. Can I get out? Right, can we find our way out then? Escape raft. That's the thing. That's what we were just in, wasn't it? Right. So it seems like we've got power to some elevators. That's good. It means we might not have to do the last resort to get out of here. What's through here? Cargo. Oh, there's another elevator. Let's uh, come back to that in a second. It's a bit of a maze, this ship. You can buy this ship in the game and then get people to crew it and fly it around. Ah, now we're talking. These doors are opening. Good, good, good. How about that one? Will this door open this time? Ah, good. So we seem to have got... Oh, we seem to have got um, power back. So if I can just find the right elevator, we'll be able to get out. Yep, we're all done here, guys. We're all done. If any of you knows how to fly a ship, you can take it back. There's a lift on the left here, isn't there? Is this going to work? Yes, it is. Thank God for that. Right, we need to go back to Spartan Pool or Foyer. Let's, let's go to the Foyer because that's on the top, I think. We can get out there. This is this is, this is how it's supposed to work. Now, at least we better get off the ship now that we've got access to all the floors. Uh, not much happening there. That's a window. Okay. Come on, I just want to get out. Dead guys. Shot them earlier. That's good. So we, we can move between the floors. Okay. Nope. Oh, yes. Another elevator. No crew kitchen spawn pool. No, don't use those. God, this is it's taking longer to get off the ship than it did to actually kill the dudes on it. That's that guy. That's that guy who was shot earlier. That's the one we shot earlier. Okay. It's not really. That's the window. Yes. It's not really. Open up. Go down there. Yep. 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 Okay. So. Ah. Oh, good. That's the um, get out through the thingy. And there's there's the door. And my ship should be just outside. So let's go and find my ship. There it is above my head. Let's get orientate. There it is. Wonderful. Right, let's try and fly back into my ship. 
and then we can get on and see if we can just fit in another sneaky bunker mission and getting on board this is going to be an experience 80 meters I still at least nobody's blown it up in the meantime that's good oh this is good this is good perfect shut the door right okay oh so we've successfully done a boarding mission that's good i'm getting a little bit better at flying and shooting so hopefully the next boarding mission i do i won't get killed engaging the guys outside right everything looks okay let's have a look at the mobile that's all 92,000 now that money means nothing because uh, in a few weeks they're going to wipe the servers or to defend occupants is that a microtech yes it is data center so we'll do that and then after we've done that we'll go back to base yeah, they're going to wipe the server soon. So anything, any credits you've got, they'll wipe all of those. Leaving you with just 20,000. Any in-game bought ships, they're going to go as well. Any progress you've made, basically, any reputation, it's all going to go. But I'm still going to have my Cutlass Black and my Gladius. So my ships will be okay. So let's go to this data center. There it is. A very populated place. Just need to find out exactly where it is. Okay, okay. That is it. I think that's it. That is it. Right. Okay. Let's go. Hopefully, the next bunker mission will run okay and not be bugged. Where is it? It's over off on the right. Quantum up. One jump. Let's go. So I'm quite happy that I'm, I'm starting to really get the hang of this now. Flying, I'm not too bad. Dogfighting needs a bit of work. Now, I am practicing on the arena commander mode, um, where you get to... The arena commander mode, you can do races, uh, you can do combat, single player, multiplayer, and I do single player in the mode called Vandal Swarm. Now, Vandal, like the aliens, they've got very, very... Uh, agile fighters so you get waves where they increase the number of fighters every wave and you've just you've got a few um, NPCs flying as your wingmen but basically you've just got to try and take out as many as possible but it's really good for teaching you the basics what it isn't good for though um, I mean once you blow ships up they leave behind little icons so you can help repair your ship or replenish your missiles but ultimately if you get blown up, when you respawn, your ship is in the condition it was before you got blown up. So your ammo, if it's depleted, will still be depleted. It won't give you fresh supplies, which is a little bit annoying. But it is what it is, and it does help you to get the basics of dogfighting and, and targeting and stuff like that. So I've done a little bit of that. And we're coming into this data center... A bit dark. We've got any mountains in the way? No, not really. But I do love bunker missions, they're so straightforward. And you get to shoot some guys, 
as long as the game doesn't bug out and not give you any to shoot. Right, where is it? Where's the little flashing lights? There we are. Landing gear down. Pick a nice spot. There's no other ships here that could jeopardise what I'm doing. And this is quite hilly around, so I've got to make sure I find a, a decent landing spot where I can get out quickly. Now, this has got vertical takeoff and landing, so to get out, I can flip my rear thrusters 90 degrees to give me a bit of extra oomph to get away from the surface. But in the meantime, let's just. find our landing spot. Okay, we're outside the entrance. Turrets. There's three turrets. Can we land off to the right somewhere? Just spin it round. That should do it. Just touch it down nice and gently. snow that pretty there we go All right engines off oh I didn't use didn't turn my VTOL round okay I'll try and remember that on the way out right then let's go should have plenty of bullets left ten hostiles remaining if that number changes we know that there are definitely hostiles on site just need to make sure that the lift is working that there are hostiles here so we have a functioning bunker mission, basically. Okay, let's run over to the bunker. Oh, I'll tell you what, just shut this, just in case. Good, good, good. Right, off we go. I'm quite a good distance away from those um, turrets. So we should be okay. Right, lift please be working. Yep, looks fine. Good. Stage one. Let's hope we don't get a, a server crash. We'll start, we'll start with their gun that we nicked off the bloke on the uh, 890 jump. Come on. Anybody lurking? No. We've got security on site. Oh, there's one being killed. Good. We should be okay then. Let's have a look. He's security. Don't shoot him. Who's he looking at? Who's he looking at? Oh, there's somebody over there. Oh, can I help him out? Just pick him off. They just shot security. Naughty, naughty. Okay. But I think the security took care of the other guy. So... I should be right to sneak around here. They're dead. Okay, let's just stand up and have a look and see if there's any movement happening on any of the gantries. What's happening down there? Oh, there's a dude. There we go. Another one down. Let's go down the steps. Have a look in the back rooms. Anyone hiding down here? I can hear... Plenty of gunfire all the time, so this is promising. 
Nobody hiding off to the left. That gives me cover as well. Anybody round to the left on those? No. Nobody lurking. Who's he shooting at? Who's he shooting at? Oh, him. Perhaps. Oh, well, him. He'll do. Thank you. No armour. You're dead. Okay. Four left. Come on, dudes. I'm doing all your work. Anyone mount here? That's the guy I shot earlier. Where's the side rooms? There's a side room. Okay. Looking clear so far. Oh, surprise! Well, I'm down three left. Any more lurking around this corner like there was in the last base? Doesn't appear to be. Okay. Let's go and search the server room because you never know. No, we're good. So, three left. Another one. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Bugger. Let's change my gun. Oh, he's different. So where's the other one gone then? There he is. Okay, I have to run after him. Where's he gone? Has he gone up that? There's only two left. Nobody around there. More dead security. He's got to be up this ladder. There he is. Another one down, one left. Where is he hiding? Where is he hiding? Is that him? Oh, I think it is. Hello, mate. Oh, it's gonna Job done. Another bunker mission done. Nice. And guess what? You guessed it. There we go. In the face, dudes. Up and down. Yep. Supremely childish. But got to be done. So. Let's get rid of our gun so we don't accidentally shoot anybody. Uh, anything worth looting weapons-wise? Give me a red crate. Nope, 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 no, 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 no. Come on, red crate, red crate. No, can't do the grey ones. Oh, this has been a really good session. Two bunkers and a boarding. All taken care of. No, that's a bag. Oh, there we go. There's a box. That's a really funny position. No, let's try again. What have we got? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. What a waste of time. Ugh. Can't be bothered with that. 
anything in here? If you're going to go looting, always do it after you've shot everybody. That's what I learned after my first bunker mission. Okay, let's find the way out. Quick, uh, no, that's the one I looked at a second ago. Is it definitely nothing else? No. Again, dude, stand down. I've done your job for you. Is there anything around here? Ammo wise? Nope, this is a waste of time. Goodness me. Why did I even come down here to defend you all? You've got no stuff for me to steal. Now, since I, I last did Star Citizen on the video, I've moved all of the game files onto my NVMe drive, and the game runs just so much smoother, and also loads really quickly under a minute. And at the start, I don't get that five minutes or so of things lagging and buffering, and everything loads in straight away. So if, you, if you're going to be installing Star Citizen, you've got space on an NVMe drive, Stick it on there, absolutely. Right then, back to the surface, back to the ship, and then back to New Babbage. And that is where we're going to call it a day, I think. I haven't been to New Babbage for ages. I've, um, I've been exploring the other side of the Stanton system, and there's a, a system uh, on Crusader... Crusader is a big gas planet. It's got a very thick atmosphere. It takes forever to get through it. And um, that's where you'll find Port Olisar, which I don't really like, because Port Olisar's armistice zone is very small, and people will take pot shots at you as you're coming and going. But the main base is um, Orison, which is really, really nice, but it's like a cloud city. So it's very beautiful, especially in the daytime. And um, I've got, got some good shops there, good bars... And it's just a really, really aesthetically pleasing place to spend time. And I've had a lot of good delivery missions in Crusader area. The moon's yellow and selling. Oops, it is. Can fly into it okay, can't walk into it. That's better. Right, we need to get out of here. Back to New Babbage. So yeah, I'm starting to feel a lot more competent with the whole mechanics of the game now. So I've, I've so doing that, my, completing my first boarding mission was massive. Because previously I haven't been able to get past the the ships guarding the liner. Right, we're not going up very fast. Have I not got my VTOL? Well, we're not being shot at. That's a bonus. So let's get out of the atmosphere and have a VTOL. Oh, now my VTOL are down. No, turn around. There we go. Right, let's get to a good height. We can't get shot there by the turrets. So let's get the star map up and get to New Babbage. It's just a quick jump. so many more things on Microtech than there are on the other planets. It's really congested. Oh, 0.03. Good. Up we go. And there's my little marker in the top right. It's currently red, which means I can't quantum to it. It needs to go blue, so we need to clear 10,000 metres. Nearly there, nearly there. OK. 
ہائی Let's get it in view. There we go, it's turned blue. All capitals look like baseball home plates. This will take just a few seconds. And I'm now a lot better at recognizing where the spaceport is. The last few jumps I've come into New Babbage, it's been on my right. I'm surprised as well that in 80 minutes the servers haven't crashed once. We've had three successful missions. And all the missions have been good. And we've completed all of them. Yep, there's a spaceport on the right. Jobs are good. So we'll just stick it in there. And then we'll call it a day. That has been... I mean, apart from blowing up by crashing into the other ship, I mean, to be honest, if I hadn't had my forward thrusters on, if I'd just been sitting there, we probably would have just blown him up. And then we could have taken care of the third one. And that would have been ideal. But that tiny blip aside... This has been possibly one of the most successful sessions I've had. Three missions, and all three have been completed. Contact air traffic control, we will do that. Where is my landing pad? Oh, there it is. Okay. And it would be at night, wouldn't it? So I've got to make sure I don't crash into any tall pylons. Anything in the way? Not really. Just need to head to the top of that platform okay it's on the right hand side by the look of it there's two openings we want the right hand side probably gonna have to just spin us around a bit yeah we want to go in there Spin us around. Now we've got water on the canopy as well to aid crappy visibility. Let's get back in the third person. There we are. This should be a doddle. Put her down. Come on. Landing gear, yep, don't forget that. Let's go right to the front. This is a big hanger for my medium sized ship. Stick it on the middle. far back let's go forward a bit stick her down crunch there we go right lovely job so thanks for watching everyone and i'll see you for the next one